Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. And my name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and I'd like to welcome you all back to Whips, Bits and Chat number 48. Right, so what have we got up for you today? Today, I think we'll start off as we normally do with our, um, with our video catch up. Right, so uh, this week I managed to get out a few more videos than the last few weeks. So let's run through them. The first one up was Happy Mail from our Sabrina Melodou. Well, I still got her name wrong. So she was really, really sneaky with this one because she's got my address and she was in a good mood when she went out shopping and she grabbed me some extra yarn and some extra gorgeous yummy, yummy bits and some other bits and pieces that went in the box. So if you want to have a nose at what she sent me, um, the link will be up here and it will be down in the description box thank you ever so much again darling but please stop i'm out of room <laughs> right next up is a signet boho dk yarn review now you can't quite make it out on the shelf which is a shame but i've got some here because i've just been trying to rearrange the shelving right so that is uh, this one here the uh, soho uh, bo uh, sorry the uh, signet boho spirit i absolutely love this stuff and it is so so close in colors to the um your other yarn that i mentioned and that i show in that video so if you haven't had a chance go and have a nose a link up here and down in the description box oh and probably on the end screen as well right and the third video up was of course our crochet now magazines at 25 to 29 now what i ask you to do it, uh, for any of the magazine videos is if you fall in love with one of the patterns write it in the comments section below ideally what book it is to help me out there because there's at least five otherwise i've got to go through each time so what book number it is and a brief description of it if it hasn't got its um, name actually on the image then what i can do is i can run up here like a headless chicken go into where i hide all of those books and basically find that one it's issue and then i can search through and i can find out what the name of the create uh, the pattern is what the creator's name is and if i've got time i will even do a little bit of a search online to see if i can actually find that pattern um elsewhere so normally i will attack ravelry um i will type in the designer's name i will do whatever i can to see if i can find you a link to that pattern and then i will pop it in your comment but i will also pop it in the description of the video so if somebody has um, popped on before you and said oh i really like so and so pattern and that is a pattern that you like as well you know that you can either click on theirs and follow the link that's in the description or you can pop over to the actual description box and see which ones i've already found <laughs> right so uh, that one there was the crochet now magazines at 25 to 29 again a link up here link down below and possibly at the end right and then the last one up was of course our throwback friday so that was discussing um what was it four videos from last year and i was a bit cheeky on that one and one of them was of course a tutorial for the cupcake blanket and so rather than putting the whole first video out i just cut it about a bit i gave you the intro and then i had a bit of a play around with the vol uh, with the speeds for when i was talking about it and then i got rid of the pattern and said go and have a look <laughs> and here's the link so if you haven't had a chance to watch the throwback friday yet that one again will be linked up there and in the description box and on the end screen now on to my next bit right so during that throwback video i gave you a little teaser about the next upcoming item um, video tutorial that is going to be on this page now i know my backgrounds and everything have changed around quite a bit today because of course you're used to seeing this blanket here uh, up there <laughs> but i'm bored of it i want to put i want my yarn back i love my yarn background so as as you know i am trying to sort that out at the moment and 
get it looking all nice and schwank and lovely right but I have left a few things in I have still left all of the patterns that I've made and that are on the channel but there's also this one sitting here yes I know my cushion's not exactly round is it right now this was initially or originally I should say the pillow for the a unicorn blank a uh, unicorn cushion that's behind me of course I got carried away when I made that one and I didn't record it all so I had to make another one so I could show you guys all how to do it so this cushion has been sitting on the top of my cupboard for what six to eight months I suppose since that since that video came out so it's been sitting there and I've had an idea for it but I missed the time slot and now is the time slot so if uh, you yeah, fancy having a head start without actually knowing what it is just know it's easter related so that gives you a massive clue it's easter related and it is going to be another cuddly cushion but if you want to get a head start on it of course a jump back to the a unicorn pillow um video number one where i show you how to make this cushion with its in, um, insert but do yourself a favor don't seal it up and don't stuff it because otherwise you're going to be fighting like me when it comes to attaching the bits that you need to attach to the front. That's right. We're getting stuff on the front this time and not just hand sewed items. We are going for some decorative stuff on the front. Oh, I forgot to add. The yarn you're going to need is um, a Aran weight yarn. Or that is a number four, I believe, in the US. Or a worsted weight yarn. Okay, so you're going to need that in the pink and the white or an off-white, depending on what you've got indoors. Um, ideally, you're going to need a round cushion, but as I said, I used a square one. I pulled out the stuff, some of the stuff in and sewed up the corners and shoved it in and hoped for the best it looked round. Because, of course, back then I was in total lockdown and I didn't know where to search to find the different bits and pieces like a cushion insert that I would need. And because I had one spare in the cupboard, I was like, I'm using that. And of course, this time round, I've still not had to go and get it because it's already made. You'll also... Uh... Okay, so there's your clues. And that's all I'm giving you on that one. You can try in the comments. You can try and get me to tell you what it is. But you're going to have to hold out. I'm, I'd say, halfway through the extra sections that are needed for the video. So we're probably looking at about another week. Fingers crossed, my brain, my gob and my hands carry on working because I've noticed they sort of are perfectly fine and everything works to plan until I get to about midday and then everything starts shutting down and I start sounding like a dopey donut. Right, let's talk about the next bit. Right, so and next up is the poppy count. Right, so as some of you guys can see in the background, I already have uh, three boxes made up that's three boxes of 60 which makes it 180 that I've um, declared to you guys so in this box as you can hear it is not a complete box so it will not be going on the back shelf as yet it will be going back up the top until I've finished the ball of yarn that I'm working on and but in here we have 30 so I've already beaten this week's um, amount that I needed to make right so we've got 30 sitting in here which then means it brings our count up to hold on I've got to do the mental math again 180 plus 30 is a 210 so soon soon I will have hit that quarter way milestone of 250 but that's in another week or so's time isn't it but until then hey I'm happy I'm still ahead of the game and I'm managing to get you that tutorial out. Right, so a little extra for you newbies. Um, you may have heard me say about the affiliated link and how it's really, really cool because I'm able to get a red yarn from this company for the poppies and now the company themselves are called The Secret Yarn Stash. Um, the link will be in the description box down below. If you are in the UK or North or South Island, um, you will be able to get your order delivered. I'm sorry, but if you're outside of the UK at the moment due to uh, postage costs, she's not able to offer um, delivery of her items as yet. But if you are in the UK 
um, and you do fancy having a nose um, use the affiliated link down below please because then if you do place an order I will get a little bit of extra help towards the poppies but what you will receive is the main thing right so you get will be able to get 10% off of your first order if you spend over 30 pounds you get free delivery and not only that the yarn that she has on offer is a lot cheaper or at least a bit cheaper and then say Derrimore's or Wool Warehouse I know this because I compared the prices the only one that she's the same on is the Starcraft Special DK and it is literally that is the same price but other than that her prices are all lower than those other two companies that I just mentioned um, so if you do go on and you do place an order remember to sign sign up to the newsletter or to create an account to so that you're able to view your purchases later um, and by doing that you will be able to collect points as well so each point each pound you spend equals uh, one point so of course over time they will stack up so you will be able to either use it for um towards your postage on a smaller order or put it towards a bigger order and get yourself a free ball of yarn but in regards to helping me out it does if you just make an order that covers free postage so you just squidge it past 30 pound so you get your free postage i will actually gain enough um commission to purchase a one ball of yarn for the poppy appeal now that one ball of yarn i can turn into a box of poppies so that's 60 poppies that's a hundred and twenty pound minimum that the Royal British Legion will raise from that box of poppies once they're sold. So uh, you could go onto that site if you fancy it and um, order knowing that you're helping a charity as much as you are helping my channel and of course uh, getting yourself some absolutely gorgeous yarns. And as you know some of them are back there and I'm also doing little um, videos at the moment showing you how each of these yarns work up right so i just had to pop downstairs and grab something i forgot to bring up with me and I ha we happen to have an extra little person here hello you are you gonna sit up and say hello no nope, you're just gonna sit here and listen to me ramble on okay darling you stay there that's liam the puppy if you don't already know there are a couple of videos of him on the channel already if you're a new member um and he does make guest appearances a once a blue moon and i sometimes discuss how he's been and what he's been up to as well if especially if it's a, a silly funny story that i think would make you giggle right so uh, let's get back to everything else right so of course as you guys know sabrina actually sent me uh, some red and some gray yarn now what she wanted me to do was compare the red to the red that i use for the poppies because this red she can get a bit cheaper so she said to me we'll do it and then i can always send you more <laughs> Red. she sent me loads already bless her right so instead of, what I did was I did actually work up a ball or start working up a ball of yarn so that once it's out of the ball and it's made into something I could stick a poppy on it and see whether it was the same shade or a similar shade or a shade that I'd be happy to get away with using well the red that she sent has a more orange undertone to it than the red that I'm using at the moment. So as a personal choice for me, it's a little bit too on the orange side when you compare it to others. So it would be noticeable if there was a box that happened to have mixed yarn, uh, mixed poppies made with different yarn in it. 
so I've actually said to her no thank you I'll stick to what I've got because most of it's gonna be free <laughs> thank you affiliated links <laughs> Right, but um, the item that I did actually make or started making was what I'm about to show you now. Um, our gorgeous crystal at Bagaday put out a tutorial last week, I believe, which had the cat stitch in it. So basically, as you're making up this stitch, it's a four row repeat. No, it's not. Sorry, it's a three row repeat. And as you build it up it makes it look like little cats um so i i didn't make the shawl that, or start the shawl length that she was working on because i believe hers is for a shawl um i decided i would just give it a go and see if i could do the stitch and um as i was working it i'm sitting there thinking oh this would make a nice jumper and there's plenty of yarn that <laughs> that's been sent to me um so at some point i will get to it this will end up being a ufo for quite a while or an ink uh, whatever the, the other phrase is for a, a project that just sits there forever and ever um just solely because of the other bits i've got going on at the moment once i can get them tutorials out of the way and get a good supply of poppies done monday through to wednesday then it means that i've got a bit more time to play and possibly come out with a something for this I'm thinking a wearable for me or somebody else depending on if I can work out what their size is <laughs> but we'll just have to wait and see what comes of it and that as I said that'll be a few months time right as some of you will possibly remember me speaking about about a month ago now I told you that a friend of mine was a due a baby soon and that she'd asked me to make um, a cute little elephant um, to go in her baby's room although I think she's probably nicked it for herself now what she actually asked for was like the pajama case that I've made previously which was an elephant and I'd also made a rabbit pajama case as well but she wanted it swapped around a bit she liked the body of the rabbit with the elephant head so her baby's bedroom has actually been set up as Dumbo so what I did was I made up the elephant case and but um I ended up adding a few extra bits to it so it tied it in more with the room now I had said to you guys that I would show it to you once it was received now she did actually receive it not last week the week before but I forgot to tell you all about it last week so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to pop a picture up so that you can have a nose at it. I think it came out really, really good. So I'd love to know what you think. So this is what I would call a pattern um, mix up or mash up because the head is from one pattern, which was an aragurumi. The body is from another pattern and I added in the feet, the hands, the neckerchief section and the hat. Okay, so those were the last bits were the bits that I made up myself. So I can't claim it as completely my pattern, which is why there isn't a tutorial already out on the channel, because of course I would have used that. <laughs> But with the uh, neckerchief, uh, not the neckerchief, but the frill around the neck, I, what I actually did was a crocheted around a hair bubble or a hair elastic as something you may call it. So I, I'd crocheted around that and it means then that you can actually stretch it and take it off if you don't want to run the risk of it dying anything in the wash. And it also means with little fingers it can also be removed. Now everything else on that has actually been sewn to it. And there was a little bit of extra stuff in in the hat that was uh, fr that I freehanded. So when you look at it closely, it actually looks more like um, the images from our gorgeous Disney. <laughs> right. So hope you like it. Right. So a bit of good news on last week's whips and bits. Of course, I had to do the redraw for the one thousand subbies um, giveaway as the original prize winner didn't claim it. So, of course, our gorgeous Julie Hannesford actually won the prize. Now, she has claimed it. So, 
Um, the items will be going out in the post shortly if I haven't already done it Julie because of course I'm recording this on a Friday and I wasn't done this morning because I'm rubbish. So I will get that out in the post Saturday which was yesterday for you guys. <laughs> oh dear what a muddle. Right that's all I have for you today it is easily past midday now my brain is shutting down so I'm gonna head off I'm gonna make some more poppies and I will see you all really really soon so please if you can stay in and definitely stay safe. Try for now. Taking a few seconds uh, breathing time because I need to breathe I just ran downstairs and back up again. Covid's a pig. It's going to take me about another five minutes just to recover from that so I'll get back to chatting in a minute. Right so a little bit of good news. The prize for the 1000 subscribers um, competition that I put out a few months back and that had to be a redrawn has now been claimed. So those items will be winging their way to our winner later. Um, you can find out who that was um, on last week's Whips and Bits. Yes, I'm too lazy and my brain is starting to shut down because it's now gone past 12 midday.